welcome to tugalmedia.com in this tutorial we are going to learn how to create forms in your wordpress pages or blog or in your post you can create various forms contact forms application forms request form any type of forms that you want to create on your wordpress pages or your wordpress posts we are going to learn in this tutorial now we are going to use a plugin called visual form designer is a contact form designer that we are going to use to create our form so this is your wordpress dashboard now on the left section where you have the plugins click on add new plugins click on add new plugin and wait for the page to load now we are going to use a plugin called visual form builder by Matthew Moreau it's an easy application form designer you can use it to design various forms so in the plugin section here you have here search plugins so we are going to click inside and search for this particular plugin visual form builder visual form builder by Martin Moro. so you type visual form builder now you press enter on your keyboard to load all the various plugins under form builders now you have various plugins here and the forms but we want to use the visual form builder by Martin Moreau we are going to create beautiful functional forms any type of form registration forms contact forms that you want in your pages so on the install button here click install now you click on the install button now it takes you to the installation page where you have the activation activation section here you have activate the plugin so we click on the activate the plugin to activate it into our WordPress system now after activation immediately you see on your left section here of the menus you have visual form builder now you have to click on the visual form builder and click on the set settings to to enter your various settings that your email that you use when a user fills the form the email that you want um, your your form submission to be submitted to so you click on the certain here you have various set settings here form output you you can manipulate that you can leave it Inter you have maximum upload side if you want to include an upload to your form you can increase the size to the maximum let's say for this training we increase it to 250 megabyte so then a user uploading the file size more than 250 will not be accepted so you can change all the settings here now you have here send a mail header so you can enter your email here but I enter for example my email here that's the sender's email at yahoo.com 
or I can enter a different email in the email that you have you can enter your email you enter your email that's the sender's email the sender's email in the setting form so after you do that then you click on save click on save in your settings on the visual form builder now we are going to start by creating a new form here so on the visual form builder you have all forms will show you all the forms you have created the add new form will show you is where you can click to be able to create a new form so we click on add new form so we click on add new form then you wait for the page load so when the add new form opens it says create a form name of the form you can give it any name depending on what type of form you are creating it let's say for instance an application form application application form so you can give it wherever name a contact form job form request form whatever type of form you are creating the name your name or your company that will show when the the, the 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 user receives or sends the form out it says this option says the from display name so if someone applies or enter details on your form on your website and it says your name will be displayed here so you can enter to the media for example the reply to email replies says replies to your email will go here replies to your emails will give will go here so you can give an email where all replies can go All replies from your forms can go here then you have the email subject you can give a subject to job application job application for example this says the subject of the email that is sent so depending on what type of form you are creating you set the subject here then it says email to who to send the submitted data to that is very very important it's very important because when a user fills and submits the form you have to enter the email that the that the application details will come so this is where you set an email where you want to receive the information so we can enter an email an email that you want to receive the applied forms or the submitted form from your website to. so you enter the email so after the entries is made then you click on create form on the button here now it will take us to the section where you can now design your forms so this detail is a very important because this email is needed to check whether they are correct before any application made in your form will be sent to this email now it takes you to the design section of the form now your design section here you have your submit button do not change this you have your capture 
entry here where Asia will be, ask you to enter the capture information so that it will prevent spam computer boards from applying on your forms so the computer will detect whether there's a human so that's very important you see the asterisk right here shows that this is very very important that is the verification section there's the field set and this where you'll be adding all this field set whatever field set that you will be needed needing in your form will come under this section so you have here text checkbox select date url number phone file upload instruction html time currency email address radio text area so let's for example we want to use first entry your name in the application form so we click on this section here the text you place your mouse on the text then uh, you you place your mouse on the text then you click on it you have the text area the text so you click on it and it shows up under the field set now you have to edit some various items here you have here is you have the text so we have to place the mouse on it you see at the right section of this text here that's where you can do the changes to eight settings so this text we can give it your name application name whatever name you want for your application form so on the arrow here you click on it to edit it shows up the text here the name of the text you see when you place your mouse on the question mark it says a field's name is the most visible and direct way to describe what the field is for so we can write here your name your name then you can set whether your name is required in the form this is also very important you can choose yes or no if you choose yes then a user must or is required to enter something in that text before submission of the form will be made so you can set it to no or yes depending on what information you 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 want to receive from the form and you have other functions here but you can leave that intact then we can now save it so we save the field set for your name you wait for the saving to be made so one field set is made here your name then we have another text here we can change that to also for example maybe we are doing an application form so we can say your name your name of previous previous this is this for example school or company previous school or company we can also do the various settings but we will leave it for now then you save it so we have created two texts it's okay for now we'll go to other fill sets that we want to use so we 
understand with the text then we can you have select checkbox we can enter email yes let's click on the email and wait for the page to load when you click on it once it loads under the fill set here so we are waiting for the page to load the page is still loading so there are various fill sets here and sections that you can use for creating your various forms now the email has section has been added to the form so as we did for the text place your mouse on the right section here you see the arrow will display click on it then you can do configuration to the various settings email we want to make it repart so an asterisk has to show because we need the email of the applicant that we are requesting information from in our application form so we set that to yes then we want to see if we can enter any other yeah various people said you have the checkbox we have the date sex selection we'll be entering a few more fill sets to create our form now let's choose a date selection so click on the date selection I click on it twice so twice is here I, I want to delete one to delete one of them you click the arrow it opens eight settings and you see below it you have the delete so it asks you how you want to delete then you delete so to delete one of any fill set you click on the arrow see the delete section do not use this delete because this holds the whole form this delete is for the whole form but on the various set of the fill set you can click on the arrow then you can delete if you don't want it so date we can leave it for a user to select the date we click the arrow back it enters like this and we can choose another let's say we choose a text box so I click on the tech checkbox but I have to enter the fill set information on the tech checkbox so as we have been doing for all this fill set see the arrow you click on it now we we'll give it a name for the checkbox uh checkbox we can enter something like select courses then you have under the options here option one we say math english science so we are creating the option for the checkbox the user can select then you have here you have three options but you can add more options so on the button here add you add more options you can add history you can add more options depending on the whole type of form you are creating you can add ads we are done for this tutorial section of the checkbox then the you go down a letter to the page 
if you want to set it as a requirement you can select yes you scroll up to your page you can minimize it by just by clicking the arrow then you save your form so let's see if we can quit their radio sections text area but this training will add our far upload that, that will be our large fill set we are done you can create a whole lot of fill sets in your forms but we are just creating just a few for the purpose of this training I click on the far upload fill set is loading the page is loading so we wait for the page to load for it to be included under our application form so to create a form we click on it once it comes under this section here the page is loading as you can see on the screen after it loads now it's here you have your file upload so far upload has been created you can give it a name upload cv or upload upload cv or upload cv or transcript you can give it any name So now under your filter section you can give it a name too. So you click on the arrow here, you can type school or you type summer school registration form. That is different from your application form. This application form is the general form heading that you are creating. That on the fill set section, the various entry, you have this legend here will be showing on your form. So we can minimize it. Then we can save our form that we have created. So you click on the save button here save your form there's another section down here on the down corner of the forms page you can click as well save form it all saves the whole form that you have created now we have created our form and we are going to now see how We'll add the form onto our page or see how we'll integrate the form on our page or post so that when a user enters or can be able to fill our form. So remember all the various configuration that you have done, your email that you entered during the of the form is very necessary but that's where the entry of the form is going to be sent to you so after the form now is saved now we are going to integrate it add it onto our page so on the left section of your pages you click on all pages if you want to add it onto your post you click on your post but we want to for this training add it onto our page so let's say for example we want to add the form on our products page oh let's add let's add it to about our products if let's add it if let's add it to contacts you can add it depending on what page you have created so how do we add it now when you place your mouse on the various pages you see the editing button here so you click on edit it loads the 
particular page editing interface for you so that you'll be able to edit your page there's our contact page this section is your description where you can format various text and images that you add onto your page so you click inside your description section so that we can now enter you see on this section here you have add form so now it's, it's easy whatever forms you have created when you click the add form you'll be able to just integrate it onto the form page so wherever you want the form to be let's say we want the form to come down here you place a cursor on the position where you want the form to be then you move your mouse onto the art form so it says add click on the art form it will show you all the various form you have created we just created one form so it will be displayed here application form you see if you have created 10 forms when you click the arrow you see all your various forms you have created now it says insert form now on this button here you click insert form so now insert the form as a code there's a short code for that form you have created so for this the form is inserted then on the right section of your page you see the update for you are editing this page so you have to click on the update to update your page before you can see the visual interface of the form that you have created when you view this particular page now after you click on the update we wait for the page to update itself after we have edited the page now it says page updated the page has been updated now we want to now view the page to see how our form will be looking at on our browser so on the view page you click on the view page to see how your form is looking in your browser so that a user can make the necessary entries that you require from your form and then submit it after the user clicks on the summit information comes you directly to your email that you entered during the send form information to email now very nice here you have your application form displaying on your browser summer school registration form your name so whatever field set you've created previous school we've created email everything is showing here you have the day selection so i will just do a sample registration here i enter the name for example i enter a name here previous school we are just doing a sample training email let's say a user has come to your web page and he's applying or she's applying on the form so we are doing a sample registration select date you click you select your date then you have the select courses you remember the check select check boxes we've created so mass english let's say history or mass english and science you can check and uncheck 
you can check and not check so this is a selection checkbox upload a CV or transcript so you can browse to see how the upload works now on your computer you can locate any file that you can browse here and attach it you remember you set the maximum upload to 250 megabyte so during your settings in the official form build there depending on what setting you want maximum upload setting you can enter and this is the capture i was talking about because i am already logging as an administrator i don't need to enter any verification so i just click on submit now we want to see how the submission will reflect it says your form was successfully submitted thank you for contacting us so our form has been successfully submitted this is how you can create a nice form using visual form builder it's a plugin a wordpress plugin that can help you to create various forms we can refresh our page to return back to our form application section so this is your form that you've created you can create very nice design forms using the Bishop.